Navigating the intricacies of romantic entanglements, we often sail across a myriad of emotions, experiences, and behaviors. Recognizing when one is being genuine and when one is leveraging your emotions for their gain can be a subtle art, painted across the canvas of interactions, feelings, and behaviors. In this exploration, we seek to delve into five behaviors that may hint at a man utilizing a woman's emotions, empathy, or resources for his own benefit. Our journey here is not to castigate, but to empower women to recognize, navigate through, and protect themselves against such maneuvers, ensuring that their voyage towards love is respectful, reciprocal, and healthy. He keeps things vague and non-committal. The exhilaration of new connections often brings along a kaleidoscope of emotions, where every conversation seems mystic and every moment spent is cherished. Amidst this, it becomes paramount to observe clarity and commitment in interactions and intentions. Imagine this. Your conversations are deep, sometimes flirting with future possibilities. Yet when it comes to defining the relationship or planning tangible futures, he morphs into a cascade of vagueness and indecisiveness. Plans are often spontaneous, seldom respecting your convenience or preferences, and discussions about feelings or future are artfully dodged or enveloped in ambiguity. This erratic dance between closeness and ambiguity can sow seeds of confusion, anxiety, and self-doubt, making you question your worth and place in his life. It may initiate a turbulent internal dialogue, where deciphering genuine interest from strategic play becomes a mental and emotional tug of war. Ways to address and navigate through this behavior. Seeking clarity and asserting your need for clear communication is crucial. Engage in conversations where you express your feelings and your need for clarity and commitment. Remember, your emotional peace and self-respect are paramount, and establishing a relationship on a foundation of clear communication and mutual respect is non-negotiable. 2. He only reaches out when it's convenient for him. Interactions that are predominantly governed by one person's convenience and whims can significantly mar the equilibrium that healthy connections thrive upon. When the scales tip notably towards his comfort, availability, and desires, it's essential to pause and reflect. He texts, calls, or wants to meet predominantly when it suits him, often disregarding your schedule, feelings, or convenience. Your attempts to reach out or plan might be met with evasion, excuses, or half-hearted commitments, yet your availability is expected when he reaches out. This lopsided dynamic might embed feelings of being undervalued and merely an option, sparking emotional unrest and dousing your self-esteem. There might linger a persistent strain of trying to be available, lest you miss an opportunity to connect, thus placing your needs, plans, and emotional peace secondary. How to counteract and protect oneself. Recognizing your worth is pivotal. Your time, emotions, and availability are valuable and should be respected reciprocally. Establish and adhere to your availability and convenience boundaries, ensuring that your life, plans, and emotional peace are not perpetually disrupted or disrespected. 3. He regularly undermines your feelings and concerns. As we venture deeper, it's essential to observe how our emotions, concerns, and voices are received, acknowledged, and respected in a connection, ensuring that the echoes of our hearts are not drowned amidst manipulative tactics. Your concerns are brushed off as overreactions, and your feelings are minimized or ridiculed. He might employ tactics like gaslighting, making you question your emotional responses and reality, thereby maintaining a deceptive upper hand in the dynamics. Being perpetually undermined can severely dent your confidence and emotional stability, enveloping you in a fog of self-doubt and suppressed emotions. The constant belittling might constrain your voice, thereby limiting your expressive freedom and emotional authenticity. Strategies to safeguard emotional well-being. Maintaining a supportive circle where your feelings are validated and respected can be a protective shield. Confronting the undermining calmly, expressing its impacts, and demanding respect for your emotional expressions is crucial. 4. He manipulates situations to his advantage. Intricate webs of manipulation can often be veiled under the guise of vulnerability, pleas, or victimhood. Recognizing, confronting, and safeguarding against such tactics ensures that the equilibrium of respect and genuineness is maintained in interactions and connections. He may skillfully weave narratives where he emerges as the perennial victim, thereby excusing his missteps and deflecting accountability. 
Even when confronted, the blame is artfully shifted, perhaps even to you, manipulating scenarios and emotions to his benefit. A constant barrage of such manipulations can erode your trust, not just in him, but in your own judgments and perceptions. It can incubate guilt, making you feel perpetually at fault, and potentially spiraling into a vortex of emotional and mental exhaustion. Ways to recognize and counter manipulation. Cultivate an environment of factual recall and honest communication. Maintain a record of instances that seemed manipulative and communicate clearly about your observations and feelings. 5. He expects support but does not reciprocate it. The beauty of genuine connections is often mirrored in the symphony of mutual support, understanding, and care. Recognizing disparities in this domain is crucial to ensure that the relationship doesn't evolve into a one-sided emotional or physical investment. He leans on you during his times of need, seeking emotional, physical, or even financial support. Yet, when the tides turn, your needs, vulnerabilities, or crises are met with apathy, disregard, or token involvement. Such a one-sided dynamic can lead to emotional depletion and a sense of being used. It can undermine your worth, making you question the genuineness of the connection and sowing seeds of resentment, disappointment, and emotional fatigue. Methods to ensure mutual support. Communicate clearly about your expectations of mutual support and your observations of disparities. Establish boundaries that safeguard your emotional and physical resources, ensuring that they are not exploited or exhausted.